So the boys and I, Dean, we're all at the. Where? Are you coming? Yes. Oh, did it really? We drove through it, but we didn't know. It Trade was Days there. Native Heritage Festival this weekend, and it's pretty busy so far. Looks busy. Well, there's 
so it's pouring rain and we're stuck inside the grist mill. <laughs> Are you tired, Zay? Well, we, we made this in first try. We were, we were flipping it and I did it. Uh, when you tell him, it was our first try, and the fill in, it was our first try, definitely first try. Don't think he was getting out of 15. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're hoping the rain will let up in just a minute. So we can get back out. So we got rained out of the Trade Days Festival. So we're all heading home. Dean got soaked because he was getting us all food and he was being nice and took the rain. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go back because I brought in two funnel cakes and, and uh, Megan grabbed one and said, oh, thanks, this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were buying me a funnel cake. <laughs> and I was going to. That's what I went back for. We missed the Appalachian Fair this year, which is one that we always go to. Um, we just had COVID issues for the last two years, so we haven't been able to go. So we did not get our annual fair um, funnel cake. So I got it at Trade Days Festival. Now I've had my funnel cake fix and I'm good. Hey guys, it's Monday evening. And if you've watched my channel long, then you know that's the evening that Dean takes the boys to piano. And I either get some extra work done uh, online or at home, or I go out of town to do whatever I feel like doing that week. And today, that is exactly what I'm doing. I actually have my Aldi's bags over here, and I'm heading out of town to do a pickup order um, for the next two weeks worth of Aldi groceries. And I'm also leaving a little bit early so I can have a couple of hours before I need to be at Aldi's to pick my groceries up to do a little bit of shopping. So I thought I would take you guys along with me tonight um, because my plan Sorry, I'm driving and vlogging at the same time. I know it's not safe, but I am keeping my eye on the road and hands on the wheel and all that good stuff. Anyway, um, I am planning on working on my autumn capsule wardrobe. Now, I thought I would take you guys along and kind of let you shop with me and show you my process a little bit for this. I'm still sort of new to capsule wardrobes, um, but I really see the value and benefit of having them, so I'm gonna try to put one together for autumn this year. I already have a bunch of staple pieces in my closet that I won't have to buy, like a black leather jacket and um, what do you call it, like a fitted blazer in olive green. I have like an olive and a charcoal gray cardigan. I have a light gray cardigan, which I don't think I'm gonna use this year in the capsule wardrobe because I don't really wanna go with light grays. Um, Let's see, I have dark black skinny jeans. I have um, dark denim skinny jeans. And let me think, uh, I'm not really doing, I guess I should do dresses. I have like a short sleeve black dress that I tend to wear cardigans with. I already have some black combat boots. I have two pairs, a black and a brown pair of, um, I don't know what you call them. They're like, They've got a little bit of a heel, but they're kind of like clogs. I think they're classified as clogs, actually. Um, so I'm trying to decide what else I need. I do know that I need a brown pair of boots. I need some ankle boots to go with dresses because I don't have any. I do have one pair. I have a black pair of ankle boots, so I do have those. I need a brown pair. Um, or something like suede that's kind of softer, more textured. Um, let's see. I... Don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of like playing it by ear. I've been searching Pinterest. I've been watching some YouTube vlogs about fall wardrobes. Um, I tend to like more neutral colors, but I also don't wanna not have like any color in my wardrobe. So I do, uh, I am trying to be mindful of that and go with some olive colors, some rusty orange colors. And if I do any yellows, I want to do like a golden yellow. I do have a golden yellow cardigan that I tend to wear over this black dress. Um, yeah, with like uh, boots and leggings and things like that. Anyway, all that said, I am gonna go and take a couple of hours and go shopping and just kind of see what some of my favorite stores 
have. Um, I do know that I need to get a white t-shirt because I cannot find mine. I don't know where it's at. I haven't had it all summer long and I need to get another one. I do have a black t-shirt, which is awesome because it goes under cardigans and jackets and things like that really well. Um, let's see. Oh, there was another color. I love navy for the autumn and winter. And I also like like a burgundy, like wine berry type maroonish type color. Um, so all of those really deep saturated like autumn leaf colors, that's kind of what I'm going for this year. So again, I'm going to take you guys in each store that I go into. We'll look around and hopefully I can get some really good pieces to put together an autumn wardrobe. Um, so I'm not wearing the same thing every single day and it makes getting dressed whenever I'm going out somewhere a whole lot easier. <laughs> Okay, so today is the day we're stocking the pond with fish. Judah, are you pouring water, pond water in there? Can you lift it up and show me what kind of fish you have? They have minnows. Oh, you've got oh, no. the minnows. They're bluegill. Oh, these are the bluegill. Okay, they are tiny. And do you remember how many we have of each one? No. I think like Daddy said we had 100 minnows, like 300 bluegill and 500 bass. Is that true? Oh, no, no, so I was wrong about that. It's only 30 bass. Oh, okay. 30 bass. How many bluegill? I think it was 90. 90? Okay. I was thinking that was a lot of fish when you said that. <laughs> okay. What do you have? The bass? Yeah. Can I see? Are you filling some pond water in there so they get used to it? Oh, yeah. Nice. They're all trying to get out. <laughs> They're like swimming to the bottom. And Uriah, what do you have, babe? Carp. Oh yeah, that's right. We have three grass carp to help eat the weeds and keep everything down. Can I see them? Sure, look. Oh wow, they are much bigger. Look, they're actually heavy. Yeah. And mama, they are. Uh huh. They get crazy. Pretty I think fast. Daddy said they double in size every three Why weeks. Sure the bass. They get you pretty big. The bass. But anyway, what? they'll help to What's keep. Them? like all of Wait, this grass this stuff eaten down and hopefully eat some of the parrot feather. Dean said that um, they don't love parrot feather, but if there are enough of them, they'll eat it. So we decided to get three for this size pond. Hopefully that means they'll eat <laughs> all of it. And we've got the pond level where we want it. So it's like right here at the edge. Um, of the yard almost all the way around right through here that way we can kind of weed eat right up to the edge and keep it looking really clean we'll plant some water plants like some irises and things that like water here and there and let's see Dean cut a notch in the dam here because it actually as it was filling up it broke through the side over here and you can kind of see it right there and it washed a bunch of dirt out so we packed dirt back in filled it with rocks and we cut this notch out so that it'll um yeah right through there 
cut that notch out so that the water would flow over there and that's actually exactly what we wanted it to look like because we're going to pile rock up through here and kind of make like a waterfall cascade kind of thing um, as soon as we make sure that this dam is correct and the water level is the where where we want it then we'll do all the work right through here and we have to finish putting all of the paper down the weed fabric we've got it halfway Got to finish this other half so that this stuff isn't growing everywhere and we don't have to deal with weed eating the sides, the edges of this little stream. Um, we'll just put rocks through here and we'll put certain plants that do well around water and on banks. Um, and then we'll mulch the sides and hopefully the plan is that it stays that way. We also here so we really have to be careful we shouldn't be walking on this too much anymore but we've been getting <laughs> see if I can focus there we go we've been getting some rain so all of the seeds are starting to sprout and hopefully soon this will be all grass and no mud anymore maybe put the hole down facing down into the water oh, oh one just came out hard to see them, but... There we go. The fishies! It's super dirty, it's hard to tell. Are they gone? I don't see any. <laughs> Alright. So the last ones left are the carp. But we'll be able to catch like the lobster carp and them. Well, you know, I don't think you were doing it wrong, buddy. The carp had a whole lot less water in their bag, so I guess they need less water. Oh, well, well, guys, what I would do is just look. You were doing it, you were doing it right. Yeah, but okay, you want to let them go? Wait, can I take, can I take the water? Can I take the water? No, I wouldn't handle it. They feel very clean. Show the bag open. Oh, there's some close. I see it. Let's go, it's free. It's free. There There's one that went to come There's out. There's two. Two of them left. Watch out, you want to see two? Watch out. Watch out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you remember that meme? Hey guys, so I just am popping on here to wrap up this week's vlog. I'm very sorry that I didn't get around to recording more throughout the week, but I felt like after doing all of the Native Heritage Festival days and my crazy little weird shopping trip and outfit try on haul for you guys. Um, as well as putting the fish in the pond. I feel like that's enough to put out a weekly vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that I said or you saw, you are welcome to leave those in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I am going to wrap this up and then start next week's vlog. Talk to you guys later. Bye.